Well, ground people, what you're saying, it is I, Diligent Fingers, and welcome to the first episode in the dressing gown vlogs, or Jeremy you know dressing gown diaries, or whatever I'm gonna call this segment. But basically, I keep finding myself awake at like really like late times in the morning and stuff like that, and those are the times when if I'm not like trying to create or you know, trying to get music stuff done. I, ha I have a lot of things on my mind in terms of like what's going on in the world, what's going on with myself, what's going on within the music scene that I'm part of um, and things like that. And sometimes I just want to take the time just to like, you know, put it out there to my supporters, my fans. Do you know what I mean? Whether it's on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or anything like that and plus it's been a while since I've done anything like this and you know made an effort to actually like reach out and talk to my fans in some sort of way that isn't just solely be like influenced by you know likes or you know you know what I mean things like that you know not really done any of the like sort of live streams on Instagram or Facebook or anything like that for a while like I did last year at the uh, start of like lockdown and the start of this whole pandemic thing do you know what I mean and they were really good sort of things to do in terms of connecting with my audience connecting with the people that support me and you know some of the people that invest in me as well in terms of their time in terms of sharing do you know what I mean liking and stuff like that letting other people know about you know what I'm doing and stuff so you know I thought I'd take this opportunity with it being the start of a new year to you know do this kind of thing again in some sense but more in like a pre-recorded sort of nature rather than live because you know at the moment it's not possible for me to do like that kind of live thing anymore unless it's like my show and stuff speaking of which Yep, forward motion has been quiet. Forward motion has been quiet now since I think uh, the day before Christmas Day was the last show that I did. Um, and I've been taking a break. I've been taking a break with the show. There's going to be some rebranding that's going on, so I'm waiting for that to get finished um, in terms of like promo material, graphics, and stuff like that. Um, there's going to be a new intro for the show as well as, you know, the new little bits and bobs and stuff. But whilst I'm getting all of that together, you know, the show is going to break. But it is going to be coming back next month, February. I'm not sure if it's going to be the first week or the second week. It still depends on, you know, getting things back together again to, you know, launch the show again properly. <laughs> a proper rebrand launch kind of thing. But also to give myself a break and really sort of, you know, <coughs> double down and focus on what it is that I want to actually achieve with the show and stuff because a lot of things are changing, especially with like Facebook and, you know, being able to stream these kind of shows on certain platforms. So I'm in the process of thinking of, you know, if things get really bad on Facebook, which is where it is live. Um, I do always upload, you know, the shows to my YouTube channel as well for people to watch back and they can catch everything in one place rather than going through loads of videos on, you know, the Block to Block Entertainment page, which is no offence, but, you know, if people want to watch back, sometimes it can be a bit jarring having to go through like 10 videos just to be able to watch back and stuff like that. Um, so I always put, put them on my YouTube channel as well and stuff but you know going forward in the future you know I am really thinking about whether it is going to stay on the block to block Facebook page or if I'm going to move to Twitch or if I do get enough subscribers on YouTube if I'm just going to move it straight to just this YouTube channel my YouTube channel um, and that um, because everything's it's looking a bit hairy <laughs> on Facebook and you know even Twitch is having a couple of problems with streaming music as well but they seem to be a bit more okay and it seems like YouTube is the only place where you know you can do your streams and you're not gonna have things you know quieting down and blocked and you know all those kind of things there so for, now, for the time being it's going to be it's going to stay where it should do which is on the block to block facebook page 
Um, same time every Wednesday night, 10 o'clock till 12 a.m., 10 p.m. till 12 a.m. Um, um, mostly the same format with a couple of little changes and stuff like that. But obviously, you're going to see when it comes back, you know, next month and that. Um, but then, in terms, leading on from that, in terms of content, because I really want to get, like I said, my fans, my supporters, people that are invested in me, I really want to get you guys involved, you know, with the show and how the show is going to go, like, moving forward, and as well as with this YouTube channel, you know, what kind of content is it that you want to see from me, you know, I've noticed that as much as I make music, I don't really play my music in my sets that often, uh, mainly because of, like my show is is about promoting good music, whether it's from myself or anybody else, but I don't actually play my music that often on my show, so do you want to hear more of my music, should I have a sex section where, you know, I let you know what I'm making, do you know what I mean, in the meantime, or, you know, should I have, should there be more of a focus on what I'm doing with forward motion or are you guys happy with how it is, do you know what I mean? Um, and then in terms of content outside of the show, what else would you like to see from me? Would you like to see like some sort of tutorial, vi tutorial videos? Would it be a good idea for me to set up a Patreon? Um, and uh, I've thought about it. I have got a Patreon there. I've just not made it live yet and that, but it is there kind of thing but you know would would you would you like to get tutorials from me would you like more of an insight into how I just make music in general what I get up to during my weeks in terms of you know trying to build this whole music career <laughs> kind of thing whilst balancing you know a mental health issue and stuff like that do you want more talks about mental health from me um, should I go back to doing, you know, more mental health focused, the viewpoint podcasts, um, because that is still there. I've not done one for a while because mentally, like things have just been a bit on top and that's why I've not really had, had it there to be able to sort of articulate it into a video and things like that. But, you know, if you found any kind of value from the mental health videos that I did, would you want those to come back? Should they be long ones? Should they be podcasts? Or should they be small bite-sized videos? Do you know what I mean? Like, what would you, what, what kind of content do you guys want from me outside of the show? Um, and that, that's what I need to figure out because I need to understand, do you know what I mean, what it is that you guys want from me really as my fans, as my supporters, I hate using the word fans, um, but as my supporters because that's what you guys do, you support me. So what, what more could I do in terms of getting content to you guys? Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, comment down below, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, wherever this video is going to be, because I'm going to place it on all three platforms. Um, yeah, let me know what guy, what kind of content, what more can I do for my supporters and that, really. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do one of these things, like, say, once a week. Um, and that say around 10 minutes long each time <laughs> and that just so then it's not a load of editing um, and that because same time my computer ain't good for editing at the moment so it's a bit peak it's a bit peaky blinders but yeah man I just want to be able to get you guys a lot more involved a lot more engaged in what, what I'm doing and a lot more um, a part of you know my musical journey my, my musical sort of um, endeavours and that really so yeah I'm waffling now <laughs> and that's so I'm going to end it there but yeah if you stay to the end thank you very much for you know watching listening hearing what I've got to say like I said I'm going to do one of these type of videos once a week so then you've got you know updates on what's going on with me this one is just sort of laying out you know what I what I want what I want to try in the future and hopefully getting more of an idea of what you guys want from me in the future and that and it's weird getting used to looking at the camera lens instead of looking at the screen but yeah anyway with that i'm gonna end it here thank you very much for watching and listening i hope you have an amazing day take it easy and as always blessings to you all